The sound of the Dreadbox Nymphus always inspires me, but its input-only user interface makes it the best example of the phrase hidden depths that I know of, and not in a good way. It's one thing to feel like an instrument has so much potential that you've only just scratched the surface, and another for important things to be hidden from you so you feel like you're never going to do more than just scratch the surface. Let's load a preset. How is the sound created? Let's load another one. How is that modulation being done? Clearly it's one of the LFOs, but which one and what's being modulated? Let's load another preset. What's going on here? Now, fortunately, Dreadbox gave Nymphus a very comprehensive MIDI implementation, opening the door for people to create software editors. I've been working on a software editor and a few people have used it so far, but now it's time for beta testing. Let's recall those presets again with the editor and see what's really going on. Let's load the one with all the modulation. Okay, so we can actually see what's going on. LFO2 is modulating the cutoff of the filter. It's also modulating uh, the detune a little bit. But there's also some other modulation in here too. We can see that Mod Wheel modulates both the cutoff and pulse width. And we've got Aftertouch modulating reverb. Here's how it works. And if I use Aftertouch, you'll hear the reverb. And then that other one, the sort of like retro game uh, chiptune type one. How are we making those sounds? Well, we're using chords actually. Love this synthesizer. The purpose of this video is to find beta testers. If you're on a Mac and you have an Infus and you'd like to beta test, follow the instructions in the description below. When beta testing is finished and it's time to release the app, I plan to sell it for something like $20. However, if you contributed to the beta testing efforts, then you'll get a free code and you'll always be able to use the app for free forever. Blue and Pink Synth Editor is open source. And so if you're a Python programmer, you can just go to the GitHub repository right now, download all the code, follow the instructions in the readme, and just get started. And it'll always be open source and free. If you're on Linux, including Raspberry Pi, Blue and Pink Synth Editor should work. Just go to the GitHub repository, download the code, follow the instructions, and it should work right out of the box. I mean, as out of the box as anything works on uh, Linux. If you're on Windows, I'm sorry, it's not currently supported. Uh, there's an issue with the Python MIDI driver that makes it not possible to receive the huge sysx messages that Nymphis sends out. In theory, it sh this should be fixable, but it is beyond my capabilities at the moment. Let's plug in Nymphis. See that it just got detected, and now we are receiving sysx dumps of all of the presets. Okay, the way that it's laid out here, you've got all of the main controls and their values in numbers. So if I move the, uh, the wave slider, you can see that the, the number changes. And if I do pulse width, you can see that that changes there. And um, right below e the numbers is the modulation matrix amounts. So this is LFO2, this is mod wheel, this is velocity, and this is aftertouch. 
uh, let's go to settings and we'll connect the the key step uh, 37 so that its output will go straight to Nymphus. Let's load a preset. Uh, let's go with this one here. That's really boring. Okay, let's, let's make it less boring. How about some LFO2? Let's use LFO2 to modulate itself. I love doing this. Okay, so we're going to modulate the waveform. So to change values, uh, you can just click and drag, or you can use the mouse wheel. Okay, um, we've got voice mode is uh, easy to access here. You can just go like this. mod wheel to modulate your resonance. Let's also use uh, LFO2 to modulate the pulse width. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Let's go to chords. Okay, there's something cool here. Um, we're at chord zero, and there's a secret chord, chord zero, that um, these settings affect the, the the chord settings when you're in zero, so. Need some chorus. Tape delay. This is getting kind of insane. Let's save this as a file just so I don't lose it. So much stuff that you can do with the Nymphus, uh, especially when you can see what's going on. I love it. I think it's so awesome. save that one as well. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to call this. Yes. 
preset files are just uh, text files. They're human readable. And so if we go like this, uh, there's that castle one. Okay, I'm just gonna open it with text edit. Okay, and so we can see all of the values of all the parameters. And uh, like, you know, we could just change something here and then reload it and it'll, uh, it'll act, the change will take. Believe it or not, there are 235 different parameters inside of a preset. I love the Nymphus and when I started making the, uh, this editor, I learned so many cool things about it. I think it's awesome. Uh, and so the idea with the preset files is you should be able to just, you know, make whatever presets you want, save them as files, send them to friends, uh, open them, edit them, do whatever you want. Blue and Pink Synth Editor also supports SysX files. So if you have a preset pack in the form of a SysX file, you can just drag it onto the program. It creates a new folder within the presets folder that has the same name as that SysX file, and it contains a preset file for every one of the presets that was inside of that SysX file. So there's something really, really cool that Dreadbox did with presets that I noticed once I was able to decode SysX messages. Turns out most of the parameters are actually floating point numbers. It's not just uh, 0 to 127 integers like control change messages are. And so I added this find mode and uh, check this out. There are positions in between the integer values. So you can use find mode on any of the parameters that have a decimal point. If you'd like to beta test blue and pink synth editor, just follow the instructions in the description below. Really look forward to finding out what everybody thinks about all of this. Just leave me a comment. And uh, I do plan to make more videos that fully explain every feature of the app and maybe go into uh, extreme detail uh, about how Nymphus works and uh, some of the cool things that, I, that I've discovered um, with the editor.